Hello, my name is Anton and I would like to show today how to save project site as template, how to customize a project site template, and how to configure uh, usage of this project site template for creating the project site. First of all, please go to the project center and open uh, the project site for one of the existing project. It's important to start with this point since uh, the project site template contains uh, configurations that are required. Second uh, general notification is uh, please do not uh, do not delete uh, fields uh, and lists uh, that exist in the project in the project server. Feel free to add your own columns. Feel free to feel free to add your own list or document libraries, but please do not delete. So I'm here right now on the project site template, project site, and I would like to say that uh, every of uh, every new my project, uh, uh, I would like to have uh, the document, uh, some document library, uh, just, just with some documents, and uh, I would like to call it like the PMI templates. So I will create the document library and uh, automatically it will appear uh, to the library section, so it will be here. And uh, you can create your own list or you can change the default default use. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's do that as well. For example, we'll go to the risks and uh, we'll go We'll go here and we'll modify this default to you to say, for example, that we don't want to see the due date. So we'll go here, I'll remove the due date column, I will save it. So by default, the due date is not visible. Right now, uh, to save a template, you go to site actions, site settings, and uh, click on in the site action settings, there is a save site as template. So we go here and you enter the file name and template name. So I will call it modified out of the box template version one. Feel free, uh, feel free to you know to call this uh, this files uh, and the templates as you like. So they follow you some recommendation. What you can do as well is, uh, for example, you can upload some the template, some documents, uh, some documents that will be created. And if you check, uh, if you check this mark, include the content. Every time uh, the, the content of the document and the list, it will uh, will be saved into the template. So when the new project is created, the PMI template library will already have a uh, number of the documents uh, over there. Right now we will not check that, so we will just click on the OK button and system will start creating, uh, saving the uh, temp, uh, saving site as template. When it's done, uh, you will see this window and uh, you can click on OK or you can click on the solution, solution gallery. So we see uh, that our our site template uh, our site template exists here. Uh, it's saved and it's activated. Uh, right now uh, we'll go to the uh, enterprise project type in the server settings uh, in the server settings and I will click on the basic project plan and I would see that we have. In the project site template drop down, we have two options the default one and the modified uh, out of the box template version one. So I will save it. I will go to the project center. I will create new project, basic project plan. And I will save it. So uh, when this is done, uh, we'll just uh, we'll just close the project. System is checking in the project. So uh, we have the new template. I click on the project site, and we see that our new site is based on the, our template. It has a PMI template uh, library, and on the risks there is no due date.
Another recommendation uh, for some project site templates. If you created several project time templates, you can uh, every template can have you know the different versions. So what you can to delete the project site template, initially you need to deactivate the template. And uh, since you can have uh, multiple versions of the templates, you can activate and deactivate a specific version. Recommendation is to since you're working on the on the templates, uh, not to create the big amount, uh, big number of templates, so it's easy to maintain uh, those templates. Uh, so anytime you can activate, deactivate, and uh, you can delete the template only when uh, only when it's deactivated. Thank you for your time. It was a short introduction uh, how to customize templates and how to define the project site templates in Microsoft Project Server 2010. Thank you very much.